Hey, and welcome to The Leslie Show. Today we're doing our show out at the park, and we're gonna show you guys about all kinds of fun things that you could be doing outdoors. But first, we're gonna inter introduce ourselves. Amaris, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? <laughs> My name is Bull Amaris Amaris. I'm a local musician, singer, songwriter, and proud dance instructor at Klein Dance Arts. And I love anything with the arts, including Orchid Community Theater. Okay. I'm Dixie Arthur. Um, I'm a teacher and an actor and a writer and a director and one of the founders of Worker Community Theater. So, um, welcome. Thanks, Dixie. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm Nancy Kudashigi and I'm also with Orchid Community Theater and uh, I'm retired so I'm sp spending a lot of time by myself so getting out and joining friends to do a little exercise and have fun and interact with each other something I has really been wonderful for me. Hi I'm Dave Campbell and I'm also involved in Orca Community Theater and I also am co-producer of the Leslie Show the TV show on Santa Maria Community Television. Thank you. All right, well today we're gonna learn some fun things we could do because it appears that a lot of suicides are happening, a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety due to this coronavirus. So our show today is about uplifting your spirits and showing you some, a lot of fun things you could do. Well, to start out with, we're gonna talk about the masks. I'm one that's not crazy about a mask, but you wear the mask anyway. So I wanna tell you there's some really fun masks out there. You don't need to go wearing some boring mask. So I've got one that has a smiley face on it. See, and if people gravitate to me, they, they call me sunshine. And I also have this mask right here. This is a fun one. You could use it as like a headband. You could use it as a, just kind of a dress piece or you could, it is actually something to be worn for protection. It goes like this. So then you can wear one kind of like this, <laughs> kind of a silly one. But I figure when I go out, I want to look sexy. If I can't look sexy when I go out, <laughs> I'm, I, I've got a really sexy mask here. So anyway, She's when, telling the truth. when I want to look sexy, <laughs> this is what I wear. <laughs> I mean, it, it's awesome, man. <laughs> Press the button thing, so. so. Yeah, it can even move. I, I meet all kinds of guys with this sucker on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got to learn to keep your humor up. That's very important because uh, your anxiety and your depression and your sadness and your worry, that's going to deplete your immune system. So by going outside and being outdoors and socializing with your good friends, this is all building your immune system. So do you guys have anything to add to this? Let's play. Yeah. All righty. Hey. Let's, let's show them what we do. Hey. Right, so our first know, game we're going to play today is croquet. I haven't played them since I was a little kid, but it's so much fun. We're going to start out with watching Amorous Taylor. Amorous, remember this since you were a little kid? Good job, Amorous. Now she goes to that one, right? Oh, yeah, you want me to keep going? Here, let's do that again. Wanna, okay, let's, let's give it, it another like try really here. We'll give it another switch. <laughs> Now this started back with me 60 years ago. Oh no, now I'm telling my age. Oh. Good, good job, Amorous. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Liz. <laughs> okay, well who, who next do we have on our, uh, tell us the, the rules of the game. The object is to hit, take your mallet and hit the ball through the wicks and go around this star-shaped uh, infield we have here and come back the winner first one in wins okay but i think it's mainly about having fun right it's about having fun leslie okay next we have dixie arthur up yeah. go dixie yeah. well where's the where's all the right. uh, fans here we go. Yay. Yay. all right yeah. all right dixie let's show them we're having now we're fun. more than six feet apart from each other so right now we're not wearing the masks but when we are we put our masks on oops Oops. Oh, that's my end of my turn. I didn't One, get two. Good shot. Oh, if, you go, no. if you go through two, you, you get two get shots. One. Look at him go. Woohoo! 
Woo! Oh, and oh. if you touch your ball, then you get two more shots. He just missed that blue ball over there. Oh, I forgot about that. Woohoo for Will. Yellow, mellow yellow. Whoa, look wow, look at that shot. Well. This year beats sitting inside listening to the boob tube all day. It's like 80 some degrees. It's beautiful out here today. All right, now we've got Nancy. Can I move it up? Good job. Whoa, wow, look at that shot. Whoa. We even have a young girl playing, and she's pretty good. How old is Lily? Ten. Lily's 10 years old, and she's the bomb. A bombette. Bombette. <laughs> All right, Lily. Good try. I think Amaris is having some fun out here. You having fun, Amaris? Oh, no. Right here. Whoa. Whoa. This fun game we play is called cornhole. Cornhole. So tell us, Will, you brought this nice cornhole set here, and um, how do we play cornhole? Well, this is a fun game. They actually have world tournaments and all that on this thing. So uh, what you do is you have a bean bag here. You have a bean bag here, and you're throwing it down to. Put it in the puka, as they say in Hawaii, the hole. The puka is hole in Hawaii. Yeah, Are you so from Hawaii? I am from Hawaii. So here, if you focus on the hole, if it goes in the hole, that's three points. If it lands and stays on the board, it's one point. But only one person can score, so the points that are up here, are, the other points are subtracted and only the winner gets a certain amount of points. So you start here. Like that? Oh, good try there, Will. Let's give it another one. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. One point. Two points for Will, right on. So. Here's Amaris. All right, we've got He's Amaris Taylor show you how next. It's really done. It's Good one. One point for Amaris. Woo! <laughs> All right, that looks like fun. Maybe I could give it a try. Yeah. Do you I have any go. more of those? There you go. I'll take over the camera and you. All right, I guess it's my turn. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, I hit it, it just didn't stick. Two. Whoa. Whoa, hey, I got one point. I'm gonna learn a little bit about Frisbee golf and uh, would you tell us your name and what you do and Tell us a little about this Frisbee golf. Uh, my name is Gilbert Rodriguez. Um, I work in Santa Barbara UCSB. Uh, I've been coming up here at Santa Maria at Walla Park right now, playing disc golf. Uh, it's a fun activity. It's a lot of walking. Um, love it to just to get out in the sun and to, it, it's my type of workout, you know? Not like a big weight lift or anything like that, but getting out and walking around is the best to be out here in the sun. All right, well, what are the rules to the game for this? So you kind of start off with, uh, you got three discs mainly. It's a, disc, it's a uh, driver, and then there's a mid-range, and then there's a putter. Um, you usually start off on the tee pad, um, and you throw it out. It's just like regular golf. It's Nothing's changed. Eight, each throw is a stroke, and you throw your mid, usually throw your driver first to get it out there, and then you usually throw your mid-range second, and then when you get close to a basket, um, I guess it doesn't really show a basket, but then you throw like a putter, which is like a smaller disc, and I'll show you a putter. It looks like this. It's rounded out. It's very different than the driver, long distance driver, and there's a putter. It looks like a regular Frisbee, but it's for a closer range shot. All right, well, thanks. Let's see how you do it. Don't be nervous. All right. <laughs> All right. Thousands of people. Oh. 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 
Woo! He got that going so far we can't even see it. Awesome. That's good. That's great. Love it. Thank you. Thanks for being on the Leslie Show. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have some Frisbee golf players here. So if you guys want to tell us your name and how long you've been playing and um, what's your favorite thing about Frisbee golf? Uh, my name is Jacob. I've been playing Frisbee golf about a year now. Um, I just like it because you get to go outdoors and uh, get some activity in and uh, actually compete against some buddies, so it's fun. Okay. Uh, Nate here. Yeah, I've been playing for about a year as well. Uh, kind of same answer as uh, Jake over here. Uh, I love competing with my buddies, getting outdoors instead of staying inside during this uh, pandemic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Uh, during this pandemic, I mean, there's a couple of things, but nothing like this. It's really fun, enjoying some time with some friends, throwing a couple of discs, just having a good time. Yeah, it's cool because you're still doing your social distancing and yet you're having fun and not just staying in the house. So, exactly. all right, who wants to start out and show us how it's done? Where's and you've been playing works? what? How long Nate? did you say? Uh, about a year now. A year now. Okay, well, let's, let's show us your best shot. Be using like a mid range. Is there a trick to throw on it too? Uh, well, different discs require different like uh, motions, so I just like pointing my shoulders and it usually goes that way. So. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Good one, yeah. That was, good. That was awesome. All right. <laughs> How long have you been playing? For about a year as well. A year as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's show us your best shot. All right. Let's see if I can get farther than Jacob, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Come back. Come back. A little bit farther, but Whoa. offline. All right. I'll take it though. Yeah, you'll take that one. Okay. Same a year. You guys all been? Do you guys I'm just? I'm gonna do it a different way. Okay. Different way. All right. Here we go. Curve. All right. Oh, wow. All right. So do you guys play at all different parks or do you mainly stay here at Waller? Uh, yes, we've been to Templeton, we've been to uh, Avila. Avila, we've been, yeah, we were, we're everywhere pretty much. Just, just enjoying the time that we have off. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. so what's the best place to play? Waller. Oh, Waller. Yeah. I really hey, like Waller as well, yeah. yeah. It's a little challenging, not too easy. That's what makes it fun, you know, that little kick in the butt like you know it's a little hard it's a humbling game yeah i bet it's definitely. a humbling game so definitely. is it usually three to play or do like six play ever uh, or is right it... now due to the circumstances uh while it requires you or i should say santa barbara it's, county yeah it's, uh, no more than groups of four groups of four yeah, okay but, uh, it, it's really good to practice that uh social distancing. social distance yeah and then uh it helps with the speed of the game as well yeah. all right before we end this, anybody want to add anything to the story? Stay safe and uh, wear your masks. All right. And yeah, go out and throw some discs too. All yeah, right. definitely. Yes. All go. right, thanks for being on The Leslie Show. No yeah, problem. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank Here is that you get to meet all kinds of different people doing all kinds of different exercises like Frisbee golf. And it's so lighthearted and so friendly and so fun. It just breaks all the tension and the oppression that we felt all this time. And it's just, it makes us happy. All right, we got Amherst here. And she, like she said, she teaches dance. And do you teach yoga too? I do. I do a special blend I like to call yoga lame, which is half yoga, half ballet. And so it's uh, all around stretching, strengthening, conditioning, everything you need to carry yourself with confidence and peace and serenity throughout life. Okay, so maybe you could give our audience today a few of your moves that we can learn? Yeah, why certainly. So I like to go barefoot on the grass and there's a great documentary on YouTube I recommend called Earthing which is the science of being barefoot because there's actually negative ions and electromagnetic energy that we can soak in through our feet from the earth that's very healing. It helps with inflammation. It sounds like quackery, but there's actually been a lot of scientific studies done on it, trying to prove it wrong, and instead they proved it correct. So I love earthing. 
Um, and then another fascinating thing that I learned recently is that by working our thighs, specifically we can activate our mitochondria and our energy reserves on a cellular level. So our mitochondria put out energy called ATL production and this allows our body to actually heal on a cellular level. So keeping our thighs and our quads strong is very important to our overall health. So I think for a basic warm up to get us into that, we're gonna stand in parallel with our legs about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna bend our knees, bringing them just right over our toes. You can stick your bottom out a little bit, and let's just start doing about 15 squats here, just to activate that ATL, waking up our thighs, getting us ready to stretch. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then five, four, three, two, one. Very good. And let's actually turn out so we're going to face our toes toward either side of us. And now let's do 15 more of these. These are plies. Two, three, Engaging your core, keeping your spine straight. Five, I like to imagine that there's a string going up through the top of my head, connecting me to the sky. My chest is open, lifted. I think this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How are you feeling, Leslie? Are okay. you warmed up? It feels good. Good. So this warms up, did you say the mitochondria? Did I say yes. that word right? Yes. The mitochondria is energy that we're... Production on a cellular level. Okay. Yes. A mitochondria, a new word. Your cellular engine. Okay. So now we're going to start by going into a coupe, which is just like a low little tucking of our foot against our calf. And then from here, we're gonna go into a tree pose. So you can bring your arms over, overhead and you can work your foot up either above your knee, if you're feeling really sturdy here, or keep it down here like this. Bring your fingertips together once you have your balance. And you can open up your chest, look up toward the sky and breathing into your belly, filling up your gut with air. So I'm a singer and something fascinating that I learned in choir back when I was in high school is that opera singers don't get sick too often because they're so good at breathing that the oxygen really fills up their lungs because they take those really deep breaths to hold out those notes. So oxygen is really, really good for you. And that's something you can do anytime without a strenuous workout is just checking in with your breath sucking in air for five seconds, and then pushing it out maybe for six seconds. Very good, and now see if you can bring your arms out and balance here, extend that leg out. And if you want a little workout here, you can pulse your leg up for five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, plie, creating a diamond between your legs doing whatever you wish with the arms, and then let's continue on the other side, coming into that coupe, low tree pose. Then up, fingertips together. Breathing deeply in your gut. After balancing here and taking in some nice yummy breaths, you can bring your arms to the side and for that little extra workout, extend your leg out and then pulse it up for five, four, three, two, one. Very good. From here, we'll go into some lunges. So we'll just bring our leg up into a parallel passe and dance. And 
then just bring it back and you can keep that back heel up. Keeping your balance, looking up toward the sky, breathing through your belly. We'll hold it here for about 15 seconds. to breathe. See if you can straighten your back leg, Liz. So that knee is totally straight. Beautiful. And keeping the knee over the toes in the front. Nice. And you can hold this for as long as your heart desires. For the sake of time, I'm going to switch it up here. We're going to come into a chair pose. So this is a nice little squat in parallel. And we're going to hold it here for about 15 seconds. So you can bring your feet slightly closer together, Miss Liz. Perfect keeping the arms above your head, working through your chest and shoulders, and breathing. Like we're sitting in an invisible chair. And then from here, bring your opposite leg back into that warrior one, keeping the heel up into that lunge, holding it here for about 15 seconds. touch with the breath and then opening up to warrior two. So placing that back heel down, bending your knee over your toes, pushing your arms out and you can bring your palms up toward the sky if that feels right for you. for as long as you please, feeling that nice burn in the thighs. <laughs> and then picking that leg up, coming back into our chair pose, sitting in that invisible chair. We'll sit here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Now, if you feel like making this a full body workout from here, you can swan dive forward, keeping your back straight. Fold in half. Bring your legs behind you into a nice plank pose. And then from here, you can kick up one leg at a time. And this works your abdominals, your shoulders. This is a great all around body workout. Making sure our bottom doesn't go higher than our shoulders. Keeping in touch with the breath. Then you can drop your knees, and this is a good ab workout, just to hold your knees about three inches off the ground. They're gonna shake a little bit. And then when you've had enough of that, push yourself into a nice child's pose, wrap your head. And then for our final, little exercise here. We're going to do a threading needle. This is one of my favorite shoulder stretches. That's where we come from a child pose. We lift up one arm and then we thread it underneath the other arm. Keeping our legs apart on the ground so we can get as close to the earth as possible. through it. Unfurling that arm. That's my cute little son over there playing with the cornhole. Other arm up. And then thread it on through. Leading into that stretch.
onto your hands and knees and you can stretch your spine up toward the sky. yourself into a nice child's pose again. Take a moment to fill up your back and your lungs with air. Your lungs are very, very huge organs. They actually take up almost the entirety of your back and you have a lot of lung capacity. So don't make COVID-19, don't let it make you afraid to breathe. <laughs> the more breath you get, the happier your body will be. How are you feeling, Liz? Oh, that's good. I good. feel invigorated. That I was too. great. So that's a nice little five-minute workout relaxation technique that you can do. That's my, uh, it's trying to get... <laughs> All right. So, Thank you, Amaris. Thank you, Liz. Thank, Thank you for staying tuned to the Leslie Show today. And I hope that you learned some fun things to do out in nature. And most important, have fun. Be outside and learn to breathe in that nice oxygen. And don't stay in all day just listening to that television set. It's good to be outside and, of course, social distance. All right, we'll see you next time on The Leslie Show. And never forget, don't ever let anyone take your mojo. Have a great day. Bye now. <laughs>